Buenas noches and welcome guys to another video of Rami Vlogs. So today guys we are here in Envigado in one of the major cities in Antioquia next to Medellin. And today I'm back with my friend Carolina. Hello, bienvenidos a Envigado. Nice. So she's gonna show me around here and as you can see like all behind me is so much Christmas light but everything has like a history and it means something. So that means we're gonna now walk around and let's show you guys what Envigado can offer for you, okay? All right, Carolina, so where are we gonna start? Which, I see bus, I see flowers. So where are we gonna start? Where, okay, so which... this year, the Christmas lights for Envigado are about tradition. What you can tell about us about this park? Yes, um, well Christmas is very important to all of Colombians and Envigado especially always does a special um, arrangement for their lights. So each year they change on topics and this year the topics are traditions of Colombia. So we have the Christmas tree with flowers and it has Carriel. Carriel is like a farmer's purse, it's very very traditional. We also have the Chiva that used to be our buses. Yeah. Um, very long time ago, but now they're our party buses. So for December, people rent them and they party and they drink alcohol and they dance inside the, the truck. There's also like a little campesina. Campesina means farmers as well. Uh, she has a sujeta. They're usually filled with flowers. And this is like a typical dress. Oh, okay, I see. Yes. What do we have? And so much light here. I like it. Always all the flowers, everything is very focused in Colombian. Birds, flowers, colors everywhere. So families can come here and enjoy. Yeah. Guys, I'm from Germany, so when I compare this to Germany, I would say they did a good job, but it's still not this Christmas vibes. You get it like in Europe, like you have this snow and cold and hot chocolate and everything. It's like hot weather. And, uh, and it's like Christmas light, so for me, it's a little strange, but this looks super beautiful, as you can see, guys. Nice, colorful, and I like it. Uh, so that's Colombian traditional Christmas side. So uh, this bus reminds me normally, like, when I'm like La Setenta or in Poblado, and I see always people driving this party bus. And can you give a couple words about this? Yes, this is called Achiva. It yeah. used to be our bus um, in places smaller than towns that are called Peredas. Um, because buses wouldn't go there, so of course they would take this car to to pick up people and just move heavy stuff. But in December now it's party bus, so they take out the seats and just go inside and dance and have a very fun time. Yeah. Wait, you can go all the way up top? Um, no, you can. Oh, just climbing. Okay, I see. That's nice. Okay, so now I see here uh, one guy with two. What is, what is called here? Is this in English? Um, this is called arriero, donkey. <laughs> donkey, yeah, donkey, donkey, donkey yes. yeah. We call them arrieros or campesinos. Yeah. Campesinos is farmer, and what they're doing here is that uh, is a coffee picker. So he picks up the coffee, he puts it on the donkey, and then he has to move it somewhere. And they call it arrieros because they're always like arre arre, so they can make sense. Where can I find these in real life? I never see them in, in Medellin. <laughs> Here a lot. The mountains, coffee farms. So we have to go outside Medellin? No, not outside. Inside of Envigado, you can find it just like 10 minutes from here. Really? Yes. Nice. Oh, nice. Look at that, guys. It goes like always in cycle. The Chiva for all day while he was here around with his friends. I was there in the Chiba riding. Oh, really? Guys. How old was you? Like five years old. Five years old? Yes. Nice. So you grew up your whole life in Envigado, huh? Yes, all my whole life in Envigado. Nice. Alright guys, so now as you can see, this is the hall where we're going to now enter. And this is like straight off the beginning of the park. You can see all the lights. So beautiful. Uh, yeah, super nice. I would say let's go. Wait for me. Okay. This is called arepa de queso. Arepa de queso. Here we are a culture that we like to eat salty stuff with very, very sweet things. Yeah. Everything what we're gonna eat, we're gonna share, okay? Yes, we share. 
Backwards. Backwards. <laughs> I feel like Colombia right now. <laughs> Gracias. Oh, no, you look, look delicious. All right, guys, time to try. Let's see how it is. Three, two, one. Arepa de queso con lecherita. All right, guys. Buen provecho. Oh, it tastes so nice. It tastes milky, salty, cheese. That's a very nice arepa. I like it. Let me get another one. I love it. <laughs> nice. Good choice. Good choice. All right, guys. More food. Yalla. Imshu. Uh, there's no stuff now to try. Sorry, so for me. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Blood sausage and butivara. Butivara. But chorizo is this one? Yes, chorizo. Blood sausage. Blood sausage, okay. And this is what is this? Uh, this is uh, the pig's face. The, the pig's face? And ears. Oh, damn, that's all ears, bro. Here we are very munching on the fat stuff. <laughs> Okay, 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 bro, crazy. What is this? Blood sausage. Wait, what is that? What is that? What are they selling? Gucci. 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 The stomach. Yeah. Bro, that's literally just and people eat that like yeah. just like that. I don't like it. I've never tried. It. <laughs> I know people do. Bro, that's so local, bro. That's super local. This is called muñeco de año viejo. So people buy this and they put fire on it and it lights up. So it's supposed to like take away the the bad things of the year and you know good positive energy for next year. Okay. Something okay. very Colombian. Gracias. Get, I want to go dance with them. <laughs> so this place is called Bartolo. It's very, very traditional, and they have very, very good stuff. So here you're gonna have a shot. We're gonna have a shot here. Yes. The guy here with a guitar. So, but that that has also like a history. Uh, why? Why is it like this? Um, it's called Serenateros. Yeah. Before uh, YouTube. Where Spotify was very famous here in Envigado, people would hire them yeah. just to sing a little music. Uh, maybe when they were fighting with their wives or whatever, or when they were <laughs> trying to flirt with a girl, then they would pay a serenatero to give a serenata to like give special songs to, to them. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> so I see a lot of tattoos. What is that all? They Give all me have... every zero zero for what? No, I'm not gonna say that on the video. Okay, okay, but let me Those like are just for entertaining. All, all are very like personal. Okay, which one is like not that personal, so you can explain? Um, gratitude. <laughs> okay, gratitude. <laughs> and what is this? This is like balance between mind and heart. Oh, interesting. Do you have only tattoos on your arms or do you have also... Um, no, on my back too. On your back too? Yes. Oh. A shot of aguardiente or guaro. Or guaro? Si. Sí. Okay. Salud. Strong, right? Super Usually strong. people have it like this with a shot of guaro. So we have chorizo, arepa, arepa batano, patacones. patacones. And chorizo with a lot of lime. Good job. Mm. Oh, that's very nice chorizo. It's fresh. I'm 
not a fan of this, but this tastes actually good. Carolina, have you ever tried Arabic food? Mm. Yes, I tried it with you. With me, yeah, that is, that's right. But it was here in Medellin, so it was not that authentic, but still, like, you loved it, right? Okay. Yeah. Do you know another authentic place we can go? No, no. No? That may be somewhere in the future, if you are, like, in Arabic countries. <laughs> okay, but that was the best one I... Maybe we do a video there. Yeah? Yes. In Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh really? You can get anything here. You can get anything here, like literally. Oh look at this, all this knives. Crazy. Do you own a knife? I don't. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> you don't wanna... Yeah. I don't. Hey, what's... Bro, he's so cute. Hola. Yeah, okay. Yeah, looks nice. Let's go. Muchas gracias. So we go. Okay guys, as you can see, a lot of people are just relaxing here, sitting, their families, always see dogs. <laughs> Bro, this country is so family country. Yes, and because it's a very safe place to live. So yeah. it's very family oriented. What are you saying? What's more safer, Envigado or Medellin? What you what do you say? Um, Medellin is bigger. It's much much bigger. So it has a lot of different areas that can be tricky. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel very safe in Envigado. I'm yeah. like always here, walking with my cell phone. So yeah, I don't see also a problem right now. Like walking here, I can walk easy at night. Yeah, bro. The one thing what I hate about here is the traffic. Bro, it took me like 50 minutes from Medellin to Envigado. Normally it takes you like 25 minutes. It's crazy. So guys, I just talked to the police and as you can see, there are like more here. So they said... They, they are, because I saw so many and asked him why there's so many police here, they said they don't allow like prostitution here to enter this park. And what has they said? So like no begging and hustling and that's why I was that's why guys I was saying why is nobody like begging me here for something? Because they make sure people wanna like enjoy their time here. And yeah, that's what I like it. They're good, doing good job bro. I I wish we had this in Poblado where like nobody come and hustle and want something from you. That's so annoying. Bro. I know it's so annoying, but well, let me show you the church. All right, so all these people. Yeah guys, normally I would be working here for my channel, but now I'm here doing vlogs. So everybody trying to get pictures. And as you can see guys, it's like everyone, it's like with families almost. You see always like with children and they're just sitting on this park. Bro, trust me, if you come in weekend here, it's like so packed. So we choose like a Thursday. And yeah. I'm gonna ask him for a selfie. For a selfie. Oh, no. <laughs> Salud. Salud. Hola. 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 
<laughs> so where are we gonna go now, Carolina? Okay, so now we're gonna go to the Plaza de Mercado. Like Plaza de Mercado. Place where people go buy fruit and other stuff. La Cordion, very traditional. What is La Cordion? La Cordion is how they make music. Vallenatos, oh. you know vallenatos. Yeah, vallenatos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They make vallenatos with acordeon. Acordeon. Until what time are they like here people like until nine? Till midnight. Till midnight? Yeah. Really? So we're in a new This is how it used to live marketplace. before. Marketplace. This is how it was before. It got burned several times because the construction was very, very old. But now they make this beautiful place for farmers to keep selling their lemons, avocados, lettuce, everything. Let's go and I can show you some. So guys, Carolina wanted me to try this fruit, so yes, I don't know what it is. Granadilla. Granadilla. Yes. What is that? Can you explain like um, it's similar to like passion fruit, but it's just like a little slime. So you break it like this, it's like very practical to okay. take on your purse. Oh damn, you smash it. Yeah, you just like <laughs> smash it open. Nice. Like this. Oh. And then you can grab some. It's like a little slime. Mm. So that tastes good, huh? Mm -hmm. That's so slimy, guys. I've never tried slimy fruit like this in my life. Let me give it a try. So you have to suck it for a couple of seconds and then you swallow it, but oh, I love it. I love it. Grab more. Let me grab more. Let me grab more. One more of that. I love this food. What is it called again? Granadilla. Granadilla. To give you an example, so guys, to give you an example about this car, so let me here show you what Carolina is gonna now explain to you. Yes, this is called Jipao. So what they do is that they do like a, an award-winning uh, event in which they have to put a lot of weight to make this happen. And oh. the winner that makes it happen to be on two wheels the most time is the winner. And they do a lot of things. He has like a machete. <laughs> he does stuff with the machete. So this is a Jipao, different from the Chiva. So we are about to end this video guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me make one more word before I go back to Carolina. I just wanted to see it by myself, like all these lights. So, you see, we have like animals, we have like transportation and everything, so... Wait, where is Carolina? Oh, here she is. <laughs> she, said, she, said, she said it in German. She, she asked me how I said it in German, like we are done. It's called Via. Via. Zend. Zend. Fertig. 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 Wir sind fertig. Wir sind fertig. Yalla, that's so. Too difficult. Better, terminamos. Terminamos. So guys, that was Park and Bigaro. Let us know what you're gonna... What do you think? What do you think about this Park and Bigaro? <laughs> All right, guys, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you won't miss any videos of Rami Vlogs. And follow on Instagram. And uh, yeah, guys, my name is Rami, this is Carolina, and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios. Bye. Ciao.